morning, afternoon, and evening, guys. Welcome back to episode 11 of Livecraft Mine. So there's a few things I want to get done today. Um, a few projects I want to get started. A few projects that I want to finish. I want to go do a little bit of caving. But first of all, we need to tend to this. <laughs> I noticed this yesterday on Memory Leaks. LCM video, channel in the description, as always. <sighs> so you guys know that I've been complaining on the server. Um, if you follow my Twitter, you see me upload a picture yesterday of about five creepers. All just clustered around my base. They spawn like crazy. It's because it's not lit up properly, but it's always creepers. It's never zombies or skeletons or witches. It's always, always, always creepers. So someone thought it would be <laughs> it would be funny to build this. So um, this is the first time I've seen this live, and there's some signs. Oh, this is nice. Did they build this as well, or was this just nice? <laughs> thought you could use a scarecrow for your error. Memory leak. I did not think it was memory. That cheeky guy. I thought it would have been um, Chaffy, I think. I did not have a big memory. But it's a very kind of sheriff creeper with this big kind of, I don't know what you call this moustache. It's handlebars. Um, he's put something in the chest for us. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> I'm not going to... I'm not going to knock this down, at least not just yet. I'm quite a fan of it. And, um, where does that go? Is that attached to the floor? Never noticed this before. But there you go, guys. So you get a good view of it there. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Cheers, memory. Um, he's a great guy. Charles in the description. Go and watch him. He is the father of the server, as we call him. But he's a great guy, so go check out his channel because he really, he really puts out some good content. So it's in the description for you guys. So thanks for the scare creeper memory. I hope, I hope it works. So you can see today I'm prepared to go caving, but first of all I wanted to start another project, which we may need some dark oak planks for. I think I'm going to use. So let's take them and make about half slabs. Nope, that's not what we want to do. There we go. Right, and um, we won't need these torches just yet. Also, gonna need a lot of fence because of what I'm planning to do. So let me fill you guys in. Actually, let's sleep first to avoid any creepers. I mean, because hopefully the sky creeper should work. Come on. There we go. I've also had a really good idea. So let me try something out. Um. That's not what we want to do. Come on. So you guys have enjoyed the new series. Breaking Sims. I thought that was quite a fun idea. So I'm looking forward to giving you guys more of that. Do you guys not think this looks much more Japanese? Having kind of the bed set into the ground. Like that. So I think we'll keep it like that. I'm a fan of that. You kind of got the little, that little bit of texture as well. It's just sticking up above the slab. Because it's not quite a half slab the bed. <coughs> Excuse me. Burping while I'm talking. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the thing I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. That's quite a nice design. Um, I've seen that on someone's YouTube video, which I can't remember who. Um, and I've just done the complete opposite. I wanted to do. I wanted to sleep. Another thing I do, I do want to do as well for the server is get a meat farm going, because the guys never have any food. I've got some orange juice and almonds for my snacks today. Very, very healthy indeed. So, let's show you guys what I want to do. I'm thinking of building a spiraling staircase, kind of like an old ancient mountain mountain staircase that goes up to the top of this tabletop mountain. And I'm going to build something on there, but I'm not going to tell you guys what it is until it's finished, as to avoid spoilers. Um, it's going to be quite Japanese themed. As we try to make everything around here. But, yeah. That's what it's going to be. 
I think we can start it today. At least I was thinking, where do I put the start of the staircase? Which is a legitimate question. Um, I was thinking maybe pillaring out or maybe bridging out from here, creating a pillar there to hold it, and so we can turn off to the right. But I thought no, because that's gonna look too modern slash techy. So I'm literally just gonna get dirt, gravel, cobblestone, mossy cobblestone slabs, and just build like a circling path that spirals up the mountain, like hugging it. So I think we can do that now. I don't need these fences anymore then do I? Come on, frame rate catch up, friend. It's quite bad today for some reason. We've only got Minecraft running. Alright. Let's take ourselves a stack of dirt, a stack of cobble. Cobble um some smooth stone can't hurt. Um what else could we use here? Some Right, let's grab that dirt we need to take a stack of dirt. So we're just going to do the start of it today. I'm not going to complete it. I'll probably do that maybe in a speed up or, or off camera. We'll see how um, see how long it's going to take to start it off. Right, so let's grab some of that mossy cobble as well. Um, I think this should, this should be okay. And I'm missing one thing. I have a feeling anyway. Right. So I think I'm going to start the staircase just over here. We'll maybe do another forking path off to here. Oh, that's grown now, isn't it? Oh, that's good. That's good news. Um, it's a little bit thin though here, isn't it, to build. That's the thing now. There's not much room to manoeuvre around this place anymore. Because I've filled it so thick with spruce trees. Which is it was the look I was going for, but as far as practicality with new builds comes along, it's not not practical at all. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe out of the furnace room we can do this. And spiral it up that way. I think that's our best bet here. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. So let's start off with some slabs here for the furnace room. Um, and then we need to put in some smooth stone here. Right, okay. So we'll do that again and then just grab our slabs back. So it's going to be very random. Um, there's going to be no kind of consistent pattern to it. It's just going to be different blocks to create that kind of that texture that we were looking for. Um, and then we'll just see how it looks, I suppose. So coming up, there's going to be blocks like this where you can't get up. You have to jump. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um... There you go. Um, right, so I guess it's just a matter of figuring out which blocks to place and when. So you can see here, we're going to need to take down this tree. So we can do that now. I also as well want to go on a tree run, um, just to fill out the wood chest. So we've got every different kind of tree, so we can grow it back here. But the only thing I'm struggling to find is a... Um, a jungle biome. I'm sure there is one on the server because someone's building in there, and I've seen a jungle tree at spawn as well. I think so. There is definitely one around. I'm just not sure anybody knows where. So I think the main thing we're going to need for this is actually going to be smooth stone. So I'm going to have some of this and cook that off real fast. I think this is the way I'm going to stick with um, the furnace room. Memory Leak was by here the other day, and he put his graphics onto Fancy. And if you do that, you can see the, the glowstone through the trees. And for me, I actually prefer it a lot more. Being able to see through the trees, it kind of gives a more... Like, the more th thicker the forest, it actually looks that way, and where it's thinner, you can see through it. So I think that gives kind of much more detail. And you can see the glowstone behind there as well, which is I'd, I'd not too bothered about that so that's a good thing for me right so I really want to kind of make the smooth stone hold up this staircase a lot so if we um, build that up and then maybe one more up around there right yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So we do that, and then I'm just going to have it going up and down. It's not always going to be going up. It's going to be kind of a very disjointed build. Um, just going to kind of randomize the block placement here. And then if we go to some dirt, maybe change up a little bit with dirt. Um, wait, we can't put that there, can we? Nope. All right, so let's just grab that there. One cobblestone there, smooth stone rather. And there. All right, now we can um, let's put some mossy cobble down. So it's it's actually kind of hard to randomise. Um, so let's put a smooth stone block there, and then we'll bring this out to here, kind of. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Also as well, I do want to enchant some tools. We can utilise the ender farm at spawn, which is something that I would like to do. Right. Okay. Um, let's bring that around here. See how this looks. Basically just going to do this till we run out of our materials. And then we will go around and add in some support detail around. So let me just actually get a good look at the shape of this mountain. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, I think I've got an idea for this bit as well. If we put in some slabs here. And then up there at the top. And then a mossy cobble block. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Right at the top. And then, if we just dig a 2 by 3 hallway here, where does that bring us out? Okay, yeah, I've got an idea for this. So if we build a stone kind of archway here, um, that might look pretty cool. Although I do think we are going to run out of... Um, mossy cobble before we get the job done right okay so we're kind of going to go through this tunnel um, onto the other side so I'm just going to grab some cobblestone real fast actually maybe maybe let's get used to some of this gravel I know gravel is going to be kind of the hardest to use because you know it's, it's affected by physics and um, that's bad news bears in minecraft for us Let's just drop that off and then put that on there. I want to do a couple blocks down there. Just it looks like it's kind of caved in. Like it's all kind of fell over the tunnel a little bit. So we put that through here. That's what's bothering me about that is that's not supposed to be like that. Okay. Um, put one there. Yeah, yeah. So we've got this staircase going up now. And I suppose we need actually to just to thicken this out a little bit. There we are. So I'm not going to put any like safety railings on or barriers. I'm just gonna just gonna build it as I'm how it comes really. Right, let's go and grab that smooth stone because I really want the majority of this to be smooth stone so it blends in with the mountain. Um, all right, let's get rid of the dirt. You probably noticed since I've lost all my levels um, after I finished recording with Chaffee Bean yesterday. I tried to end the pearl up to his mob grinder, his mob dropper, sorry, and it just didn't work the way I, <laughs> the way I planned it to, so that's where I lost all my levels for you guys that are wondering. I haven't enchanted anything, don't worry. Right, this needs to start turning into smooth stone now. So I'll put one there, there, and keep that there. Um, oh, this is a good thing to explore, actually. can probably just kind of, once it gets to the thinner part of the mountain, I want the staircase to really thin out. So we can probably do that. Um, right, okay, let's put some smooth stone here. I guess we should just kind of get the layout of what we want to do. Um... Yeah, let's put that there. 
So it's just going to be hugging them out, and hopefully you guys are getting kind of the general, the general picture of what I want to do here. So, all right, let's put those there. Actually, make some staircases now. Up there. Um. There. I'm gonna knock that one out. Yep, and put one there. So some places there is gonna be where you have to jump because it's just kind of been it's been built out of nothing really. So I really want to start putting some torches up, just in places, just to give this a bit of a a brighter touch. Right. Okay. Um, let's do that. And yeah. Okay. So, let's have a little walk up so far, see how we're getting on. So you come through here, up the ancient stairway, through here. Oh, you can hear the creaking as well on the planks, on the slabs, that's a good feature. Jump up here. Right, okay, so I think we're going to leave that there. I'm going to probably finish that off camera, but before we finish, I just want to get a quick, quick look at what we are looking at. Um, put that in there. That in there, um, dirt and gravel. Man, I've got serious OCD about putting my stuff away. Spruce wood, spruce planks. That needs to be at top. Come on. And the spruce slabs. We can just go there. Okay, so we've got maybe we're using dark oak for that. But let's have a look at it now. Um, it's over here is the best place to view. But yeah, that's kind of the feel I'm going for, is just that spiralling around the mountain to the top. And you guys will find out. I'm going to finish that off camera, because it's not the most exciting thing to watch. Um, so I'll do that off camera for you guys. And then you will eventually find out what is on top of that. So, I thought we'd do a little bit of caving before finishing off the episode with a little bit of enchanting. Um, so you guys may or may not have seen the way back to mine and Chavi's mob grinder. Um, I just want to go and make sure it's working. I also as well need to build a Japanese path over here. There's so many projects I've got going on in LCM. And I feel like I'm really neglecting my Let's Play series and I don't want to do that. Um, I'm really liking that world as well, but there's just... Because my computer takes so long to export my episodes. Um. What? Okay. Oh, we need to get back fast. What the hell happened then? There was ladders there last time. And... Now there's cobblestone there. Did Chaffee do it then? We definitely did that in the last episode, because that's how we were getting back up. Oh man, we need to hurry. We're going to lose our stuff. Alright guys, so I'm going to cut back to you when I've got my stuff back and we're ready to go caving. So, be right back. Okay guys, and welcome back. We're here in the ravine. As it turns out, I jumped down this hole. Which is the hole without no ladders, and the ladders are there. <sighs> so that's a new, new mistake on my part. But there is coal here, and we do need coal. So, um, that should be fun. But reminded me of caving. Me and Chaffee have a new series in the works, um, which could be fun. I hope it's going to be fun. Um, he's a really fun guy to collab with. Um, he's just, he's funny, he's great, and plus he's British. And at the Captain Till 100 channel, we only upload the finest British game. you got to be kidding me again. No way, man. Oh, man, 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 bad news bears, bad news bears, bad news bears, blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys, I'll be right back again in a minute now. And welcome back, guys. <laughs> Died again, lost more levels after complaining about levels. <sighs> so 
So we're in this ravine where me and Chaffee built our spider crusher yesterday. I'm not too sure how it's working at the minute. Um, there's not many spiders in there. But this is the hopper timer we built. So basically how it works is this lever activates the redstone behind it before this trail this comes in and when a power source activates a hopper the hopper is locked and nothing will flow out or into it so that needs to be in here actually Boop. there you go so when i unlock this hopper yeah this hopper will become unlocked items will flow here activate the comparator powering this block powering this redstone powering this piston pushing the redstone block back here activating the redstone which activates the crusher Quite simple stuff. So we show you guys how that works. So we turn off the redstone. The items will flow out of the hopper, and once they hit this one, pushes it back, activates it for just enough time where these flow back. There you go. We lock it again, and then you have the one hit kill spider. Oh god. But it still does need some tweaking yet. We need to add, maybe add more crushes or just let the spiders come in. But you can see here we we, get, we are getting a healthy amount of string. Which is an always a good thing because we can make a wolf farm because the one that spawns sucks or whoever made that. Because there's just the most useless colours of walls there. So, but this ravine is ripe for the exploring so we're going to do that now. Give me some of that cobblestone just so we can block this off again. There we go. So we found this last time and it is huge. Is that another one there? No way. Surely. Let's end the pill up there. Surely this has got to be the same one, right? I think this is a mini ravine going into two other gigantic ones because these things are huge. Oh. Oh. Creeper. Right, okay. Um, man, there was a lot of stuff up there, but I can't get to it. I mean, I guess we should just tire up them, right? Because I do want all the iron because I do want to build after seeing the benefits of a beacon at spawn the guys have done a really good job of building the wither statue by the way um, memory leak and faps have all the footage of that being built um, and that was great fun I was actually offline by the time they started building it so um, your good friend Captain Tin isn't in that video but I am here for the start during the fight and a brief little discussion um, before they started building the statue but not for the majority of it but yeah it was fun so go check it out again all the channels are in the description and last episode someone's shooting at me oh I really should have brought some arrows so I've got two yeah killed him right yep yeah, awesome yeah, so I didn't thank you guys properly last episode. I tried to, but I got sidetracked with Chaffee being. Um, he's always a distraction. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, the channel and the server have both grown exponentially in the past couple of days. Um, especially this past week, I went down on... See, about this time last week, I was on 20 subscribers... And every morning when I wake up, I check my channel to see if there's been any new subscribers, any comments, any more likes, you know, just, just to see if there's any more activity because, you know, it's always fun and it really makes a YouTuber's day when it sees more activity on the channel. Um, so I was doing that and then I noticed that I dropped down to 19 subscribers and I thought, oh, it's not too bad, only one's left. But then the following day, so this would be the Monday now, I went... Got up on Monday morning and just checked my phone to see how I'd. And everybody on the server had gone up a lot of subscribers. Um, 
I went up about four. I'm now on 23 subscribers as of the 18th of April, 2014. Um, and that was really good to see. That was the biggest subscriber peak I've ever had. And yeah, so I need to thank you guys for it. And also the channel, Sir Fappy is our whitelist manager for Jonesy, along with some another couple of guys that helped Jonesy out with the server. There's a lot of lava here. Come on. There we go. And another couple of guys that helped Jonesy out with the server um, for whitelisting and managing the Reddit and basically the, the image of the server. And the whitelist application was just insane. We had a lot of YouTubers come and a lot of YouTubers got accepted. And they're now, I think, in the description. I've not found all their channels yet because they've not really been interacting with us on Twitter. So... It's kind of hard to find them their channels through searching YouTube, unless it's a really specific name. Um, but the Swedish gamer who's now linked to have his channel. Um, excuse me. So you guys can find those pretty easily. Oh, I really should have brought some arrows down. <laughs> me and Chaffee were talking. Like we were wondering like how much diamond is going to be under this obsidian. Because it's like a six deep pool of lava at level eight. And there's got to be diamonds there. And we really, really want to find out. All right. Let's see if we can end the pool over here. Right, okay. Boom. One hit kill, really. That's, that's nice. Man, I'm loving all this iron and ravines and stuff. To be honest, I'm more bothered about iron for my, my beacon. Which I think we're... Probably jump into a car with another LCMA and see if those guys fancy um, fighting another wither with me. Probably won't be as big as the fight last time because, um, you know, you don't want to. I don't want to put too many of those episodes out where it's just never ending with the fights through a collab. So, man, I'm telling you that video with Chaffee Bean, episode 10, the special episode, which is an hour. That took nine hours to export, guys. It was insane. I was waiting all day. I was just killing time on FIFA. Just, oh, man, you guys have no idea. It was the single-handedly the most boring thing I've ever had to do. I was just sit there and watch the Premier Render Bar go up. It was just ridiculous. But one thing I would like to do with Chaffee Bean... Memory Leak Death, Sir Fappy, Swedish Gamer, anybody. Snapchat as well has also put out his first video. So that's another builder turned YouTuber on LCM, which is great. I always love to see a new YouTuber start up. Um, again, he hasn't linked me his channel on Twitter like I asked him to. But I'm sure you'll see this video and he will comment on the comments with his channel, Chaffy, uh, Snapchats. So do send us your channel, buddy, because we need to see some videos from you. Um... But yeah, I would like to do a other caving rules session with one of the guys. See who wins that. Man, there's so much iron around here. It's great. Right. Anyway, I am going to head on over to the Ender Farm with some Lapis Lazuli. And then we will... Enchant our diamond armor weapons and tool. Tool is the key word there, not tools, just tool. Of our pickaxe and our diamond sword. Is there anything in these still? Oh, I'll take those arrows. If you don't mind. Yeah, so I'm going to head on over to the end of farm, guys, and I'll cut back when I get there. So I'll be right back. Welcome back. <laughs> After all that time, ah, oh, he's put his face up here. Good man. So I've been trying to find the end of farm. Oh, hello, lag. I've been trying to find the end, the strongholds rather, for a long time. It's up on my Twitter. Sweet man, I'll watch it after this. Don't you worry. Um. Oh. Okay, that was <laughs> that wasn't there before. I didn't. The last time I came to the end, Let's do 
Oh, Steve. What? What's he talking about? Um. Oh. Okay. Um. So yeah, I've been trying to find the end for about an hour. I've been tweeting memory leak death, and dude, thank you for your directions. But I'm just an idiot. Oh. And the end. Okay, so Snapchat has joined the LCM army. He's now one of us down this way. Cheers, dude. Do, dude. Alright, let's eat some of this pork. Because I've literally eaten, eaten everything trying to find this place. Um, so let's... You guys haven't seen this before. It's just a bug standard under farm, you know. I was just popping, but I'm going to record EP2. I'll watch it while I'm exporting this EP. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> That guy, seriously, he's so cool. Right. So, we're here, and... Welcome to hell, guys. Um, it's just... A never-ending slurry of Endermen. It never, ever ends. Get it? It never ends. Ah, I'm here all week, guys. Um, <laughs> so, I'm going to cut back when we're ready to enchant our first... Our first, um, our first thing. So yeah, I'll be right back, guys. When we're ready to go. And welcome back, guys. Something is wrong with the end farm. I think they've nerfed it. And um, that took a long time to get to thirty levels for an ender farm. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna enchant one of our tools, our diamond pickaxe, and um, we can always repair it back home. Um, and I'm just going to enchant the rest of the stuff off camera. So let's just go ahead and do this. One, two, three. Efficiency three, dot, dot, dot. Come on, fortune. Oh, man. <laughs> trolled, trolled. Oh, God. <laughs> what was going to be our sword? I'm breaking three. Oh, come on, come on, let's do the sword, let's do the sword. Okay, be right back. And welcome back, guys, again. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and use our sword here. Unbreaking 3. We can't get just another Unbreaking 3. That was tragic. Sharpness 3 and Unbreaking 3. I will take that. That's not too bad. Um, so I'm going to carry on enchanting here off camera. So for the next episode, we will have some decent gear. People have their chests all set up here. I might set myself one up. Um, so yeah. Um, oh yeah. So yeah, I'm not too... That's, that's tr atrocious. <laughs> that's really bad. But um, yeah, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Thanks for stopping by on the channel. Please do enjoy the video and please, please... From Captain T100, do enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.